Hi guys, for my blog I am going to be talking about social deviance and how there are positive parts of it and negative parts of it. My first starting or off is what social deviance really is. Um, it's for departing from the norm, but really who defines what the norm is. Um, there was a professor, Emil Durkheim, and he said that a that being deviant can also bring people together. Um, there was a, another professor, Robert K. Merton, that developed the strain theory, and he, in his theory, talked it, talked about how a negative deviant would be someone craving the idea in society for money which could lead to selling drugs being illegal with theft a bunch of different things um my main point about starting off with being social deviants and who's really to say like who who cares if you're out of the norm who cares if you act different than everybody else what how you act is how you define yourself how your friends define you how your family defines you so why is it that all of us try to fit in with a certain class of people how people in their right mindset have a version of people that are high class that are middle class and that are low class that no one wants to really handle in their friendship um I don't understand why social social deviance should really be a topic. Um, people are their own person. They hang out with their own group. They hang out with their own family. How you see yourself is how you should portray yourself into your whole life. You should not base yourself off of different people or what the magazines say, what TV says, what anybody else says. What you think about yourself is what matters the most. Now, with that being said, with the positive and negatives, yeah, if you commit a crime such as murder, obviously that's negative and you're being different and out of the norm, which is not good because murder is a crime, which leads up to criminal mischief and everything of that sort. But if you are a positive norm, say that you're speeding in a city, that's not really going to be out of the norm because that happens quite often. Um, with, for example, being social deviant would be someone, a positive would be the speeding and then a negative would be committing a murder and um, it all depends on how you look at society everything revolves around society if you follow the tabloids and follow everybody else's opinion then that's what path you're gonna follow if you look up to other people that's how you're gonna act you're not gonna act like yourself you're not gonna start off a new day saying hey this day's about me I can do what I want but if you look up to somebody you're gonna be like oh hey they jumped off of a bridge let's jump off of a bridge not needless to say but um, to wrap everything up social deviance is departing from the norm and only you can define who the norm is. Don't base yourself off of what society has to say. Don't base yourself off of what family or friends have to say. You are your own person.